students, welcome to today's lesson. In the previous lesson, we have seen about topographic map. And also we define what is topography, it shows the shape of the earth. So different shape of the earth represented by topographic map. And also we have seen different a slope like concave, convex, terraced, undulated slope we have uh, seen in the previous lesson. Today we will discuss about the representation of different land future on contour map. Let us start from closed depression. First, what is depression? Depression is a low laying area surrounded by higher ground. Valley increase from lower to upper but decrease when we reach in depressional area. The surrounded areas of the depression has equal elevation. For example, if this point has 100 meter, this also has 100 meter, but when we enter to the depression, the value decreases. So the small hatchet lines on the contour map expressed depression. For example, the value increase from the lower contour line to the upper. The higher ground surrounded the depression has equal elevation, all of 300, 300 meter, but decrease when we enter to the valley. So this small hatchet lines on the contour map show depression. It expressed by concentric circle, the valley increase from the lower to the center, but when we reach in depressional area, the value decrease. So the small hatchet lines on contour map shows depression. Let us see what is plateau. Plateau is found in the higher ground. It has a flat surface. So to show this plateau on contour map, the shape of contour map almost similar at the bottom. It has a steep slope. And when we go to the top, the slope becomes gentle. So if you see a triangular shape on contour map, it shows plateau. Plateau is found in a higher area, but the surface is flat. This flat surface shows plateau. But the bottom of contour lines close together. At the bottom, it has a steep slope. But at the top, it has what? Gentle a slope. So to show this on contour map, the shape of contour map almost seems like rectangular. Let us see this mountain chain. It has an elongated shape. This is a real future, this is mountain, and also this is mountain, as we have seen in the above. To show mountain chain, we use two concentric circles. The value increase from the lower contour lines to the center. The land between this real future, it is saddle because this land is not shallow. Saddle is a low area that's found between higher ground, but it is not deep, it is shallow. So uh, this uh, part of a concentric circle between the two concentric circles, it is land known as saddle. So to show this mountain chain on contour map, we use these two concentric circles, the value increase from the lower contour to the center. This is the tip of mountain and also this is the tip of the mountain. If the mountain chain is three, we use three concentric circle. X, Y, and H are mountain. So to show this mountain, we use three concentric circle. This shows mountain chain. So mountain chain expressed by 
concentric circle. If the mountain is more, we use more concentric circle. Let us see this mountain. This mountain in this side, it has a steep slope. This side of the mountain is a gentle slope. To show this side of the mountain, the contour lines close together. This side of the mountain shows steep slope. So the concentric circle of this side shows the steepest side of this mountain. The gentle side of the mountain is this one. To show gentle slope, as we have seen in the above, the contour lines widely spaced. So for this future, the gentle side is this one, and the steep side is this one, because the contour lines close together here and widely spaced in this part. Let us see how saddle represents on topographic map. It is the land between two higher ground, or the land between two summits. The saddle is not shallow like cool and pass. Look this future. It is a real future. This is mountain, and also this is mountain. Here, the low area, it is not shallow. It is a flat surface that is found between two higher ground known as saddle. To show this saddle on contour map, we use a concentric circle. The value increase from lower contour line to the center because saddle is found between two higher ground or it is found between two mountains or two summits. The value increase from the lower contour lines to the center. This shows what? Saddle. Students, if you see this kind of future on the map, this represents saddle. This one is a mountain tip, and this one another tip of the mountain. So you can easily identify the land future on contour map. So let us proceed to another land future that is valley. Valley is a long, low-laying areas of land. It is a stretched out channel in the land, usually formed by a stream or a river. Valley, the contour line has U-shape or V-shape. The U-shape contour line shows the steepest side of the valley, the V-shape contour show valley with a relatively gentle descending a slope with a V-shaped bottom. Let us see what seems like the real future of valley. This is a valley. So this is a higher ground, and this also the higher ground, as we have seen in the above. Valley is formed by a river or a stream or it is formed by internal or external force. To show valley on topographic or contour map, the contour lines bend upward. Look at this. The contour line bends upward, but the valley decreases downward. So this is a river. If you see this kind of shape on contour map, it shows valley. Let us proceed to a ridge. A ridge is a slope line of high ground. It is a long narrow hill top or a range of hills. A ridge normally has low ground in the three direction and higher ground in one direction. With varying in degree of slope. Students, let us see this real future. It is a mountain or a hill, it seems like. Uh, the steepest side of the mountain, known as a ridge. To show this real future on contour map, the valley increase from the lower contour line to the center. It is 
the face of the mountain, this side of the mountain known as ridge. So ridge is this one. Let us proceed to re-entrant. A re-entrant could be considered as initial stage in the formation of valley. Like valley, it represented by U or V shape and point towards the higher ground. Look, this one. This is a real future. This is re-entrant and also re-entrant. Re-entrant mean initial stage of valley development. It is not uh, deep. It is shallow and narrow. So the land uh, between to this uh, re-entrant, it seems like a spur. This is re-entrant and this is re-entrant and also this is re-entrant. So to re represent this re-entrant on contour map, like valley, it has U or V shape, and downward bend. And this dot shows the flow of stream or river. So re-entrant seems like this. If you see this kind of feature on the map, it shows re-entrant. A spur, it is found between two streams. So a spur are shown on contour map by using U or V-shaped contour lines and pointed downward. Look, this is a spur. A spur is found between this re-entrant here. Why it is re-entrant? It is the river is broken here. This broken line shows what? As we have seen in the above, it it is re-entrant. So the land between these two re-entrant or uh, between two valleys known as a spur. The contour lines bend downward to show a spur, but valley increase upward. So the land between two re-entrant or valley known as a spur. It is formed by a river or stream when the land cut by the stream or the river. Contour lines do not cross other contour lines. They also never split or divided. A vertical cliff contour lines seems to, to touch but never cross. To be touched, to show the steepest or the cliff side of the given future. So contour lines do not cross the other contour lines. They are also never split to, and also never divided, but it seems like to touch, to show what? Cliff. If contour lines close together, it shows what? The steepest side of the future and known as the cliff. If the contour lines close together, very close together, it shows what kind of future? It is cliff. Let's move to a stream. A stream are shown as a blue line on a map. When contour lines cross the stream, it looks like upside down V. The point in the V points upstream, it opens in the direction the water is flowing. For example, uh, this is the river crossed by a contour line. Look, crossed by contour line. So this is up a stream. This is up a stream. Look, this, this is a stream crossed by, crossed by what? A contour lines. This known as the up stream. The river flow and at the last empty to the sea or lights and so on. The last of this stream is here, known as a down stream. Generally, when a river crossed by a contour lines, this shape, it is a V, it shows what? The up stream. Look, look this one. This is a river, last three entered into the ocean. 
This is upstream because crossed by what? Contour lines. This is upstream and river flow from higher ground to lower ground because of the steepness of the slope and because of the gravitational force, the river flow from higher ground to lower ground. So this part, it is upstream and the river flow to this direction. Lastly, in PT2, the ocean. As we have seen in the above lesson, concentric circle shows hill or mountain. The valley increases from lower contour lines to the center. The center point is the tip of the mountain. So students, if you see concentric circle on the map, it shows mountain or hill. If you see almost rectangular shape, it shows what? Plateau. Okay. Let us see this real future. This mountain, the side of this mountain has a steep slope. To show the steep side of the mountain, the contour lines close together. So this contour line show cliff. This future shows Iceland. Iceland, it is a land, body or area surrounded by water. So, to show this real future on topographic map, the shape of contour lines seems like this. This is water, water, river, or it is a water body. So, if you see this kind of future on contour map, it shows Iceland. Iceland, it is a land surrounded by water bodies. So, this contour lines, the shape of this contour lines shows Iceland. color on topographic map. Let us blue, blue color represent water. Forest represented by green color, contour lines represented by brown color. And black color represent cultural future like building, place, name, boundaries, lines, road, and so on. And red color also uh, represent principal roads. Pink color, it represents urban area. Purple color, revision to an older map. So uh, this color on topographic map represent different futures. Cut is a human-made future which occur from cutting through a rising ground. Feel also a human-made future which results from filling a low area usually to form a level land for a road or a railway road track. So cut and fill is a human-made future to level the ground. Students, generally today we have seen about the different land futures like Esper, Valley, Saddle, Iceland, Mountain, Hill, and so on. This different land future represented on topographic map. For example, to show hill, we use a concentric circle. Concentric circle show hill or mountain. But the valley increases to the center. To show a mountain chain, we use more concentric circle. The land between two summit is known as saddle. So the land between to this higher ground known as saddle. This is the higher ground. It is a mountain or a hill. And also this is a mountain or a hill. So the land between to these two higher ground known as saddle. So to show a mountain chain we use more concentric circle. The land between two concentric circle, if it is not shallow, is known as saddle. And also we have seen about what is Iceland. Iceland is a land covered by or surrounded by water, but this is known as Iceland. Iceland also show on topographic map. If we see a steepest side of an area, the contour lines close together. 
if we see a gentle side of the future, the contour lines widely spaced. So there are different types of slope like concave, convex, terraced, and so on. So this is our today lesson. Goodbye.